everybody. How you doing? Happy holidays. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate Christmas. Happy winter solstice and everything else. Whatever. Happy end of the year. New year. <laughs> oh my gosh. Winter celebrations. God, there's so many different variations now. It's like you're going to offend somebody. So anyway, happy holidays. And it's December, although, hey, you know, this video is going to be a gift-giving guide I decided to do, and it could be a gift-giving guide for all times of the year, you know. If you're thinking about uh, what to give a nomad or a wannabe nomad or a van life or an RV or a car d dweller or someone who's aspiring to do that or maybe somebody who just likes camping, right? You know, because I've been thinking about, there's a lot of cool things that nomads have. Well, I'll just talk about myself that I have that I think would be cool gifts for like-minded nomads. So um, things that help you just be more efficient, more effective, uh, make life more enjoyable in a small space, blah, blah, blah. Um, I just want to say all the things that I get, I'm really anal about researching stuff. I get this perfectionistic thing. I don't know if it's OCD or what, like I just have to find the perfect thing of whatever I'm looking for. So for each of these things, I put a ton of hours and hours of research into finding them and, and scrutinizing them and all that. So just know I've done that work for you. All the gift ideas I'm going to mention are in links in the description. I tried to make sure everything was available on Amazon. Of course, if you click a link, it will support the channel. But really, these are just good ideas that I think will help people. Um, let's see. What's the first thing? The first thing is uh, the Gas One stove. This is a camping stove, and it's really great. And it's great because uh, it has butane and propane. Uh, connectors so normally it's a normally it's a it's a butane stove you put these little butane butane canisters in but if for whatever reason you don't have access to butane which sometimes it can be hard to find you can um, connect it to propane right and it only costs like 30 something bucks I just feel like it's been a great stove for us we've had it for like two years and it's just been great um, in the description, I have a link where we actually do a complete review of this stove. But uh, if you know someone that's looking, that likes to camp and stuff, and this will be a great gift for them. It's really, it's a camping stove. But, you know, sometimes you get an RV or something, and for whatever reason, the propane's not working, the stove's not working. So, it, or it, it just helps to have a backup stove. Um, this is a great one. I know this is, kind of, some of the stuff I want to mention is kind of boring stuff, but... It, it really helps a lot. So another thing I want to mention are what I call the ultimate socks. And I know who wants to get socks, you know, but hey, they will love these socks. These have to be like the best socks ever made. And it's by an American company. But, you know, it's one of those old American manufacturers. They've been making socks for like ever. And I, you know, these socks are great. In fact, these are the only socks I buy now. And they're just awesome. It's hard to explain. You have to put them on to understand. So what else? Here's a really cool product. Um, I don't know what to call them. So, hey, I found these really cool things. They're called Muck Looks and uh, men's slipper socks. I guess they have women's too, but they're slipper socks. I mean, I don't. I, anyone can wear them men or women but they're really cool because they're like they have like this sole part but it's a sock it's like these uh i don't know if they're wool i'm not sure what they're made of they feel like wool but they're probably not really wool but it doesn't matter they're extremely comfortable but you can so you can walk around your rv in these so we have a shoe rule when you come in the door we try to leave our shoes by the door because it just tracks, you You will track so much dirt. So I try to keep it by the door. And then I usually wear socks, but then I found these and now I wear these and I love wearing these. They're so awesome in the winter. Muck Lux. <laughs> this, this gift, Muck Lux, you could give this to anybody. These are awesome, w wherever they live. What else? Uh, let's see. 
Another really good product is great for nomads or campers is the Mr. What's it called? Let me get it. Here it is, the Mr. Heater Portable Buddy Heater <laughs> thingy. <laughs> and uh, this thing is awesome. We got this. So when I got my RV, unfortunately nothing worked. No propane, no running water. That's why I got it so cheap. I got a really great deal, but the, the price I paid was that nothing works. So that is an awesome heater. So this heater will heat the entire RV. And it's a 30 foot RV, it's pretty big. Um, but if we put it on high power in about 30 minutes, it will heat up the entire thing. So I got rid of my furnace. I had the old 30 year old furnace in here. I don't even know if it worked. I don't know how to fix it. I wasn't gonna fix it. I got rid of it and there's a video here. I don't know if I, one day I'll put the link um, where I removed that thing. But uh, you know, it had little hoses that went all throughout the RV. You know, and I'm thinking, oh, I gotta get a new heater. I mean, maybe if I lived in a really cold climate. So that's something to consider, but then you could just get two of these. And um, this has been tested inside, like there's a video, if I can find it, I'll include it, um, where a guy tested this with a with the fire department in a tent it was either an rv or a tent enclosed with everything closed you know and at full power to see how safe it was and they measured the carbon monoxide um, by the way you should always have a carbon monoxide detector um, in your rv i highly recommend this they have two sizes of, of they have several sizes i'm not sure which size this is but this one works great okay what else so I've been a fan of Swiss Army products for a while I mean I, I bought a tent from them like 10 well many years ago big family tent the tent was awesome and um, anyway let me show it to you all right so this is my back and this is great and I highly recommend it. Um, it's perfect. It's like, for me, the perfect backpack. So it's by Swiss Army. And they have a lot of packs. So they have a lot of variants. Um, I'm not sure what this model is called. But I will include it in the description. Um, but it's great. It has like three main areas. It has a small area here for like little wires and stuff. And it has this little area. And that's where I keep all my cables, extra cell phones, mice, stuff like that, screwdriver, screen cleaner, like all pins. Then it has like the main pocket. Oh, it has sunglasses. Yes. Do you need your sunglasses? I think you do. Yeah, you need your sunglasses. Can't go anywhere without your sunglasses. Anyway, gotta have your sunglasses in Southern California. You know, from when you're out on those snow adventures <laughs> in Antarctica. Wait, okay, anyway. <laughs> so, um, then it has a really cool area for like laptops and stuff. So, it has two pockets here for laptops. So you can have your tablet and your laptop, or I put a lot of mail in here. I have my laptop and I have a lot of mail and documents or my clipboard. And it, it, if you're traveling on, if you're flying a lot, it has, it's designed so that if you're at the security checkpoint, you can just unzip this and flop it open like this. And it has everything there. You don't have to pull everything out. It has cool straps everywhere. It has this great carrying handle. Um, yeah. And, uh, I abuse this thing a lot and especially this strap here I'll just grab it like this and it's still here you know Swiss Army's been making stuff for a long time they seem to have pretty good quality so so yeah it's got these cool side pockets I keep my hard drives in here I have like three hard drives and a, a mobile router um, yeah so my hard drives are in these side pockets here and then uh, what else? This side has this thing, so I have two hard drives in here, right here. So yeah, 
and it's just great. Um, it's got a thing where you can strap it to, let's say you have a, car a luggage carry-on, you know, the rolling luggage, and it's got the handle. You can just slide this over the handle so that you can just pull, you know, your luggage and the backpack. I just discovered that feature after I got back from the airport and didn't even know. It's got this hook here. This is great for hooking your keys and stuff. I mean, it's really an awesome backpack. I mean, it's got, you know, a good warranty. I don't remember what the warranty is, but I think it's pretty good. Um, yeah, so I'm very happy. I actually bought this at Target. I'll see if they have it. I've seen it everywhere. Um, but I'll include the description. I mean, the link in the description. So, yeah. So one other gift I want to mention is an e-bike. And I did a lot of research into e-bikes because when e-bikes first came out, I thought, well, we're coming out. I was really into them. And I was like, you know, for a nomad, that's e-bikes are perfect. Like, you know, because let's say you're in a situation where you, you're in a van or a car or an RV. And, you know, I guess if you're in a car, you can go. But for whatever reason, let's say you don't want to take your car from where you are or you're camped somewhere and you need to go somewhere. Like a lot of RVers tow another car or have another car. But when e-bikes came out, I just thought that's the perfect combo because most of the time when we go somewhere, it's to the grocery store or something, someplace where we don't really need the whole car. We just need to get us there and maybe have a couple bags. So like for me, I ride a bike a lot. I just rent them. There's a little kiosk around the corner, little city bikes, you know. Um, but when e-bikes came out, I thought, man, that would be perfect. It's sort of like a motorcycle, but it's like a bike. It has, it has the versatility of a bike, but the power and, and mobility of a motorcycle. Um, so I researched a lot of them, like, you know, what's the best one to get? Should I get like a cargo one or one, you know, like for speed? Obviously, we need practicality. So I was thinking something that could hold two people if necessary. So I had this fantasy of like, you know, me and my wife could run off on the e-bike to the store or wherever we are. Um, and, you know, we could also have some bags and put bags and stuff on there. But I didn't want to get like a big cargo bike, like something small enough that it could fit on the back of an RV or on a bike rack. And so the one I chose that after doing tons and tons of research was the, uh, the Juice Bike Scorpion model. And the reason I like this model is because it has um, a really strong motor. It's really sturdy and strong. And it has, uh, you can add like a front basket and a back basket if you need to. And you can, um, you, you know, it has a, a banana seat, like so you, two people can sit on it. Um, but it has shocks, it has rear and front shocks. And it has disc brakes, you know. I mean, it was mostly the shocks that was the issue for me. Um, and it's reasonably priced. I think at the time it was thirteen hundred bucks. Like, I mean, when I say re I mean for an e-bike, right? It wasn't like five thousand dollars <laughs> or something crazy, you know. And um, so that's the model that I want to get. I I just feel like for all the features this has, this is a good bike for a nomad person. Um, and, you know, I guess there's the issue of theft, right? Like, and where are you going to store it? Um, you know, that's an issue with anything, right? But as far as what's a good e-bike for nomads, I'd like this one because it's, it just looks functional. So, yeah. So, hey, what else do we have? Um, here's an item that, again, is sort of like a little boring, but it's very important. And it's shoes, right? So I have what I call the ultimate shoe. I, they should have, they should call it that. They should, they should call these the ultimate shoes. And I don't, I stumble again. I was at Ross and I found these cool shoes that just slip on, right? They were like tennis shoes and then they wore out and I went on, I couldn't find them again. So I went on Amazon looking for, looking, looking, and I found them. And what they are is they're like, um, slip on tennis shoes. But the cool thing about them is if, you know, so I got black, but the cool thing about them is that you can wear them for work. You can 
like you know they're they're nice enough to go t to a business casual situation which i've worn them to those um you can wear them with jeans with shorts you can work out in them you can work in them uh they're great for walking they're just and they're so comfortable i have bought i think i'm on my third pair i end up buying like one pair a year um because they do wear out after about a year but i just wear them continuously for everything and they are like the perfect shoe and they have them in different styles i like the black because it goes with everything and you don't have to worry about the sole getting dirty they have some with white soles and i just see it. i'm like those soles are going to get dirty and it's going to look crappy so these are the ones i bought um right here i've i just got these about two weeks ago or a week ago and they're just kind of futuristic looking and real plain and boring looking you know but they work man i mean they just they work like that's what they look like this is the bottom um this is the back and they just work great like you just you don't have to worry about tying any laces laces are so like old-fashioned like why do we have laces like we don't need laces anymore i realized that the other day like there's no need for laces that was for the day when we didn't have a way to fasten the shoe well now we do so we don't need laces <laughs> I don't buy no lace shoes anymore. Um, you just slip them on. They have a little thing here. Not that it's hard to slip on, but they just slip on. Like, and the other cool thing about them is like, for whatever reason, you got you need house shoes quickly. Like, you just need something, some slip ons. This will go down, and you can put it. You can wear it like a house shoe. You just slip your foot in like that, and then it just pops right back. Like, so certain situations, I just need it to use it like a house shoe. And, you know, although it's like, how quick, how hard is it to pop that on? But whatever, you can just do that. You just wear it like a house shoe, like that. And I do, and these are the perfect shoes. Like, they do every single thing I need except for a formal occasion. I can ride bikes in them. I can work out in them. I can run in them. I can go to work in them. Everything I said, like everything. And they're, they're so comfortable. So I call it the ultimate shoe. Um, it's They're on Amazon. And... A lot there's lots of different brands that they're all getting the same shoe obviously but um yeah i'll include the link below and they have different styles so it's great and um yeah so you can get that for someone they might be like well you got me some shoes but once i tell you once they put those shoes they'll be like wow you know they'll be like man those are some awesome shoes combine those with the socks and you you're perfect so yeah so that's it for shoes that's it for the nomadic or the nomad gift giving guide and like i said these gift ideas are great for anyone that travels a lot even if they're a nomad or not you know or people who like to go camping digital nomads people work in coffee shops a lot um yeah so yeah let me know what you think in the comments um hopefully i was able to help have a good new year and a happy holidays and I'll see you later.